Hi everyone, welcome to this week's show. We're back at Antioch and we've got a really exciting thing lined up for you. We're going down this big shaft. So there's a manway beside the shaft and me and Ben are going down and we don't know how far down it was when we started. There's ladders in the very top of it, um, but then they start getting really rotten and uh, there's no ladders in the bottom part. It ended up being over 400 feet straight down, about half of it ladders and half of it just straight down. Um, so it's a really tough uh, place to get into and we're really excited to get into that into the lower levels of, of Antioch There's no other way of getting down to the lower levels that we've been able to find so it's pretty tough uh, A lot of water running down it uh, slippery like I say not much for ladders um, But we're able to uh, to get all the way down to the bottom and uh, we'll show you what we found at, at the bottom um, you see these uh, ladders are really heavy. That wood is just soaked in uh, in minerals and stuff. And this is why I guess it wasn't able to rot there. It's like coated by this mineral. And it's really heavy. You pick up a piece of wood and it's about three or four times the regular size. And these big icicles kept falling on us and they're really heavy. So we had to watch for that. Pretty long process getting down here, so we're down our we're on our second rope now, so we're over uh, over 200 feet down already. We don't see the bottom yet. And the ladders getting worse all the time. Not much for ladders anymore. Well, that's just using the ropes. And he's just going straight down the the manway. So we're hoping we get to the end soon. Here we've arrived, and this uh, we believe this is the 185 level, which is the the lowest main hall level in the mine. So we ran up, that's the way out. Pretty tough, we're about 400 feet and we'll come straight down. About half of it, no ladders at all, just straight down. We might as well have went down the shaft for all the difference it made. Huh. Yeah, so we got uh, three tunnels going in all different directions here. Theoretically, if we went up the hill, it'd be less water, because, I don't know, we'll see. We'll walk around and we'll have a look and see what we can find. There's a big bin there. That's an old bin. Hey, looks all riveted, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Man, this is so this is where all the water comes streaming down from the top level of the mine. And they load it up here onto them trains and away she went. So we'll see how far we can get. Yep, lots of water here. Oh, there's a big cable. Oh, the airlines, eh? Well, there's a tunnel that goes the other way. Some kind of a shop or something. Oh, yeah. Lots of water, and there's a bench along this side. Okay, so there's quite a bit of water here, so we're going to go down this way and see how far I can get. And hopefully, not have to go for a swim. <laughs> yeah, it's not getting any shallow, that's for sure. Not that I can notice. 
I better walk slowly, I might end up falling in a hole here all of a sudden. Lots of water. Oh, there's the main tunnels going that way. So here's the main hall tunnels going both ways here. How deep is it? I don't know if I'm walking on a timber or something. Hmm. What are we seeing here? Is there some kind of a backstop or something? Maybe a big hole going straight down there. I wonder why that metal stuff would be there like that. Oh, see, it's deeper here. Yeah, there might be a big hole here. Going straight down into there. Theoretically, if we head the right direction, we'd be getting shallower. We're not even sure what direction that would be. Uh, yeah, I think this is going further into the mine. So theoretically, there should be less water going this way. Oh, hey, it's getting way shallower here. That we've reached a, a kind of a junction here. So that's getting shallower. There's only about three feet of water here. And there's a junction, there's a railway going that way. And there's one going this way. We've got to go this way because the water's getting way shallower here. We're heading uphill. There we go, so there's only two feet of water here. Now there's only like two feet of water here. It's getting drier. We're heading uphill. So this is probably the only way we can go is up this way. Well, it's a good thing Ben's got long legs. <laughs> if Kevin was here, he'd be sunk. <laughs> it's good exercise. Plus, we got 400 feet of shaft to climb up, too. That'd be a good exercise, too. Well, we might get lucky and be able to get out somewhere else. And then come back tomorrow and grab the ropes and stuff. We might not have to. Who knows? Possible. Well, oh, there's a phone there, one time. And there's an ore chute there. Number two, it says. And there's a phone box here. They pulled all the phones out of all the mine. Don't see any phones. Oh, there's a box of some type there. Oh, it's just a block. Make sure it doesn't fall on my head. <laughs> the mud might be just coming out of the right branch. And it could be clean on this side. Use your walk in there? Yeah. Yeah, we better. And no light bulbs left. They took them out. There's a, there's a pretty neat light. Oh, that's a sign. See, this is a sign. It's what it said, stop wrong way or something like that. So we'll put the sign for the railway. That's what those, um, I found Cooper green pieces of glass right back in there. Yeah. Yeah, that's a sign. We found the plank. We're walking on a plank, so it's pretty easy going in here now. Just a big ore chute that's plugged off. Big boulders in it. Can I go watch behind you there? Oh yeah. Oh cool. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. But you can't get up there. Well, I guess so. if I boosted you up, you could. Some drill rods are behind you. Looks like the level's off right away there. I don't know. I don't think you want to go up there because you like you maybe get up to it and it'll come down. We scrambled up there like nothing. There, yeah, watch that ladder though. How's it look? Is it steep there? Well, uh, there's a couple ladders and then it goes. Well, can watch them ladders though. Yeah, that seems to be okay. For a skinny guy. I don't know about that guy like me. Can you help with that dynamite? Yep, so I've got these ladders here. Some more rope. 
Oh, that one broke. Part of the box of this dynamite up here. Come up. And there you go. Whole case. And there it's all sitting on the ground, but it's. I don't know if I really want to get too much closer. See a little sweating on it. So I don't think I got a chance going around that. Here we are looking down. Or I just come up. If my ore in here. Fine powder. Yeah, we've seen lots of dams in here. Kind of neat this one too. Look at how they're shaped. Kind of unique. I haven't seen that before. Oh! Wow, look at that. Powder, no open matches. I got a neat sign here. No open lights, danger. There's an old barrel. What are we seeing in here? No powder. Nope. Just wondering where they stored their powder at one time. None here now. Good. Mm. Yeah, good going here. Very oh, interesting uh, looking formation of the dams, eh? Yeah. I hadn't seen that like that. Yeah, it looks like they've crumbled already. Some point. Yeah. Another big Y up here. Looks like we're under a big deposit here. We've got a big roll of war sheets here. Hang on here. One, two, three, four, five, I can see, two behind us. Oh, big ore sheets, too. Massive boulders. Oh, there's big trucks here, look at the rail's still here. Looks like 36 inch truck. Oh, that looks like a big area. Ooh, see a big black hole there. This branch ends at this massive cavern. Can you try to get some light on the ceiling? Probably not. It's so high. Is there any way you can shine a light up to the ceiling? Uh, I couldn't see the top, no. Probably not, no. Nope. Can't see nothing really in here. Huge. It's just block up there. Massive up there. It goes up far, far as we can see. It's just black. Can't see anything up there. So, yes. Have a look at that ladder. I want to see what's up that deck. There's anything there? It goes up that way to the top of that hole. You can uh, see the hole up there. Yeah, it's kind of tough to get up there though because that ladder's yeah, pretty steep there. Yeah. Yeah, then you're fucked you down that hill, so yeah. This here, it probably just goes up around too, then. Yeah, have a look and see if it's worth going up there. Mm. Now this chute just goes straight down here. Throw a rotten piece of shit down there, it goes straight down that great big hole. It's flooded, yeah. And then there's another dump. Well, that was kind of a surprise, we didn't expect that. Where they dump the Granby cars down into here. Hmm. Yeah, she's wet. A little bit of graffiti on the back wall. Oh, yeah, it just says, oh, cow. And a big power cable there. And the end of the train, end of the line. Hmm. Well, there's a nice dynamite box. That just says polar. 
does so. Polar, Foresight Junction, CIL. This is one of the nicest, James, oh, that's one of the nicest dive my box I've ever seen. And it's exactly where it's going to stay. <laughs> it would not be fun getting this out of here. Beautiful. And keep it dry as possible. There we go. Thank you. It says, thank you. Thank us for what? Yeah, pretty steep up there, right? Yeah. Mm. A little too steep, a little too rotten. Oh, yeah. Quite a bit too steep, I'd say. Yeah, those are. This is a good ladder, right? Look at yeah. that. Yeah. Got a step ladder there. Look how worn it is, too. Yeah. Not a bad ladder. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Max welding compound. Can you Let's see if I can blow it off? Nope. Hmm. New improved feature hmm. specific or specifies the welding. Some kind of welding stuff, huh? Oh, some kind of a flux or something. Pasty shit. <laughs> so we're hoping this isn't too deep now because when we went up to the end of the mine we had to let quite a bit of water down. So we're kind of worried we might be swimming at the end here, but we'll see. <laughs> not, not getting any shallower. No. Worse with us falling into fucking these deep holes. Yeah. That wouldn't be fun. Yep, just about there. Well, a lot better falling into the water than it is uh, falling down the shaft. <laughs> <laughs> the water supports you a lot better than air. I did better that time. Well, nice thing, our equipment's nice and clean too. <laughs> All the mud's washed off of it. There we go. Or shoot again. No. It's not a good place to go if you don't like water. Yeah, that's pushing it. Indeed. <laughs> You need fucking full waders if you want to keep going that way. <laughs> well, that's really all we can explore down here. Well, there was one we could have went to the right, but I think we're pretty much done. I don't see any reason for us to come back down here, right? Eh? No. Unless you bring a raft. Can't get very far that way. I'll build a raft. I tried going that way a little bit. I did a little bit, didn't I? I could see your light when you were over there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we're just heading here back. There's a long day today. We're all the way down to the 185 level, so 400 feet down the, the manway that's straight up and down. Misty rotten ladders and no ladders. A lot of work, but <laughs> Ben did really good. And uh, we managed to climb down there back and spent a, a lot of hours today. And we're heading back to the, to the barge, and we're going to have a big feed of crab tonight, so we're kind of really looking forward to that. You should be able to see in here the conductors for the. We're pretty sure that's copper wire. Yeah, it is. There's even bigger wire there. So the electrical wire goes down into the hoist. This is so cool. Yeah. There's a light bulb there, just about by your foot. Uh, a little bit further ahead there. Oh, right there. See it? Up there? Oh, yeah. That doesn't say nothing on it. Just a regular light bulb. Unfrosted, mind you, but. Well, look at all this junk there. Yeah. None of us in very good shape. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it's really damp here. There's drills and and those are those are the hinges for the for the um, for the gates for the ore dumps. We can go either way. We can go to the right to begin with, and then we'll come back and go to this up, other branch. The big junction in here. And there's a power line there.
Not much headroom in here. <laughs> There's a huge dam that I broke down in here. And this is always really hard. So just a big ore chute and all this. That, see, that keeps the boulders back. Eh? If you have big boulders, it holds, holds them back. Stalactites. Stalactite. I remember yeah. that one with stalagmites. Stalagmites are from the floor. The way you remember it is stalactites. They're holding on tight. Stalagmites might reach a ceiling. <laughs> Massive bins, eh? There's a man with three lights. I told him we need to bring three lights. We're not supposed to have them all at the same time. You're supposed to save them in case your light goes out, Rob. <laughs> Got my GoPro. I was told the lighting's not going to be very good. So, we're going to try to light everything up as much as I can. Well, we got lots of lights in here, so... It's been interesting to see the stuff on top in different... different formations. Looks like roots in there. Crazy. Another world down here. Yeah. The mud really changes from different areas. And it's not all the same. It's like going through a sewer or something, but it smells way nicer. Well, there's a little place we can have a shower. We're getting too hot. <laughs> Stalamite, stalatites. Mineralized stalatites. And then the operator would have sat up there and operated the or shoot gate when the trains was coming in here and they filled the trains up. And if you like, you can go up there. We'll put one, uh, two feet on the same rung. So if one falls, maybe it won't come crashing all the way down. Lots of times there's a bench sitting up there. And uh, the spot for the operator to sit. And then there's just a big handle that opens and closes the gate. I don't know how new that one is. They kind of seem to take that stuff with them to the next. So the, the main reason I, I got you to go up there is because I want to film it if a ladder rung breaks and you end up in the mud. <laughs> see Rob, if you look up at the top of that horseshoe, you can see if I had my ladder, we could have actually got into that one, into that stove. Oh, up there? Yeah. If you have your ladder with it's you. Not too steep usually, or? Uh, it depends. It can be. Sometimes they're steep, sometimes they're not. Lots of times there'll be a manway somewhere close by that goes up where the men went up there. Yeah. But the problem is the ladders are all rotten, so if they're steep, is that it? Yeah. Okay, we're at the end. I found an old jacket. An old denim jacket, but it looks like it's in pretty rough shape. Let's let you have a look at it. Not much left of it. Well, there's an ore pass that goes down, eh? Yeah, that one's it from ladders. That's one that we would have went down with ropes if we would have had time, maybe. Mm, might be wet down there. Oh, there's a big blockage there. It's pretty extensive this part. Oh, we're going way back in here. Let's rub. Bend the head of this. That one goes down too. Yeah, that's, if we would have had more time, we would have brought the ropes and went down some of these. But this goes back quite a long ways though. I think it's about the furthest back in this one. I've been in the antlers in here last year. Yeah, they're mine. I went to everywhere in this level last year. Well, not up to all the stolts, but any of the flat, I did all the flat parts. 
took a long time to drain everything, so it was pretty easy once you get that done. Like a highway here now. Oh, this is a little bit skinny in here. We can go through here. A little sketchy. Just don't touch anything. If you don't touch anything, it's not likely to collapse. No, it didn't go anywhere anyways. That's a really unstable area. That's why it's got so much uh, supports in it, eh? That's uncommon, you don't see that too often. So they spent lots of money timbering that up. Well, here comes the paparazzi. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how the miners get up to those areas. Those big stokes that you've seen where they load the door up, they get up there. It'll, it'll be a huge cavern in there, and that's where all the ore, all the miners get up there. I push all the stuff down the stokes, but then the ladders are way too rotten to even try going up there. Sometimes you can get up ones that aren't so steep, you know, that you can get up without really the aid of a ladder. But even, you know, if you grab onto a pipe or something, I've had them break off my hand, cables, none of that stuff is stable. Oh, there's a little tool pouch. Oh, that's pretty cool, eh? No, oh, that's a neat pouch. Yeah, you wouldn't think burlap is all that durable, but that's pretty pretty nice bag. It's like a Gucci, uh, yeah. retro Gucci, eh? So this is a pretty big railway. This is about, it must be just about three feet, eh? About 36 gauge, 36 inches, so it's a big railway. The main line is bigger, but it's a big it's a big uh, rail for inside a mine. There, you can see the handle. There's the handle for this ore gate it's still in there. See, that's the guy would have sat, and you just pull the handle down that opens the gate. Usually, you don't see them. They take those those handles off and they put it on the next oh, one right that they're there. using, and sometimes you even take the whole gate off. So that's a very old gate. It's all riveted. Um, arc welding uh, isn't, wasn't common until about 1920, so this is a pretty old gate. So they usually use 40%, that's the most common thing, so that means 40% nitric glycerin. This is stronger and weaker stuff. Yeah, this is 40%, see, this is 40% strength. Oh, okay. There's 40 and 60. How's it look? Is it soft in there, Rob? Hard as a rock! <laughs> Come on in, the water's fine! It's like a slimy suction. <laughs> Alright, so I'm here with uh, Rob Bryson. We're just kind of showing him around the mine and Rob's kind of a pretty interesting character. He works for the university and he's been taking tours for um, for people up at Antioch. So, so, so how long have, have you been coming up here, uh, Rob? Uh, I think we're actually up to our fourth year now of taking people up to Antioch. We run a ghost towns tour of which Antioch is one of the ghost towns that we visit. And then the last few years we've actually done a two day, one night uh, trip to Antioch. And uh, yeah, we go out and uh, explore the dam and powerhouse and cemetery and you know concentrator and lots of the other buildings. Uh, we don't actually go into any of the mine shafts like this, unfortunately. Uh, um, you know, the average age of most of our guests is, you know, 50 plus. Um, yeah, and we're not, uh, you know, I'm not mind savvy uh, like Frank to be going into places like this. But yeah, it's quite a, quite a cool thing to be in here right now checking this out. Uh, never been in one of these before and kind of gives you a better idea what it's all about. Yeah, this is the main hoist level of the, of the 385 in, in Antioch. So uh, about how many people a year uh, do you bring up to the, up to the Antioch? Uh, last year we did three tours, um, 10 people each, so small group sizes. Uh, we come in uh, through Terrace, we take care of everyone once they arrive in Terrace. We uh, bus them up to King Colet. We have a uh, commercial boat uh, lined up that'll take uh, 10 people or 12 people. So we have myself and the owner, Jeff uh, Woolridge of, of Antioch. And uh, yeah, we stay at his camp and everyone has their own room. And uh, yeah, we spend uh, basically a, a day and a half out here uh, exploring all the, the different sites and, and features and that. Uh, around Antioch and yeah it's it's I think this year we're charging uh, it's about eight or nine hundred dollars for the 
for the trip, uh, starting in Terrace and uh, yeah, getting back to Terrace. That includes the night's accommodation, all the transportation, meals, uh, everything else. So uh, you have a website or something, or how can people get more information if they're interested in taking the tour? Yeah, I would say if they want to give, send me an email, um, my email is rob.bryce, B-R-Y-C-E, at unbc.ca. They can contact me there, or they can search uh, UNBC Continuing Studies, or they can search uh, Antioch's Tours. Um, it'll all come up on our website, and yeah, give me a call or an email. We can tell them all about it, and yeah, if they had a big enough group, we could do a custom trip. Uh, you know, whatever, uh, you know, whatever works for them. But yeah, we typically do a couple trips in the spring and then another one in the fall. And uh, yeah, we come out here and it's, it's a lot of fun. And yeah, you learn, learn something every time I come here. You, you see new things and, and learn new things about Danny Ox. Well, thanks a lot, uh, Rob. It's, uh, that's really awesome. And you probably have to thank you too. It's probably one of the reasons we came here because uh, you know, we knew about Danny Ox and then all of a sudden you guys had the tours in here and then we got in contact with Jeff. So you kind of uh, paved the way for us a little bit to get in here too. Yeah, it's cool yeah, hearing about all your stories, you know, with all the underground stuff and really gives you a better perspective on what they did up here and what the mines were all about. Uh, you know, like I said, we don't do that on our tours, but uh, yeah, it still gives you a really good idea on, on what was you know, happening behind the scenes here and what, uh, what this mine was all about.